Guys, since I've been working from home, I've been looking at a lot of home and office tech. We're using a ton of different tech in order to make our lives easier. And today, I've got something pretty cool to take a look at, and it's coming right up. What's up, YouTube? Dave here with Seeing Through a Lens, and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the latest conference speaker microphone system from Nearity. Now, if you don't know Nearity, they make a ton of home and office conference solutions. And I gotta tell you that this A20 conference speaker microphone has something quite cool up its sleeve. Now, before we get into it, Nearity sent me this A20 in exchange for my honest review. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that everything I get sent gets my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So let's unbox this and see what we have. First off, guys, we've got the usual instructions. We also have a pretty long USB-A to USB-C cable to connect to your computer. Now, I'm gonna leave that in the bag as frankly, I've got a MacBook Pro and yeah, you guessed it, no USB-A connectors. Be nice to see some USB-C to USB-C cables for us Mac users, but anyway, Next up guys, we have a power brick. Yep, this bad boy needs proper juice, not just USB. Then we have the A20 itself. And I've got to say, this feels solid. It has a nice weight to it. It's very well built. And you know what? I like it already. Also guys, last off in the box, we have an ethernet cable. Ethernet cable, right? Why have we got one of those? Well, We'll get to that in a minute. But looking around this A20 itself, and I'm telling you now, it does look good. Black and silver, nice touches, including a nice little bit of branding on the side. At the bottom, we've got some holes, which I guess are the microphones. So lots of them there. On the bottom, we also have the power jack, a USB-C socket, two RJ45 ethernet sockets, Yep, hang on, we'll get to the ethernet in a second. And on top guys, you've got your speaker grill and five LEDs for volume up and down, answer and hang up and mute. Now, when I plug this into the mains, all the lights are yellow. As soon as I connect it to my computer, all the lights turn blue. So what's it like to use? Well, I've hooked it up to my Mac and it's fully plug and play. It's instantly recognized by the operating system and it's also instantly recognized by Zoom, Teams and the other VC platforms I use. So, what about the audio quality? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the next part of my video with the A20 and we're gonna see what it sounds like. So guys, I'm actually uh, sitting here now about six inches, eight inches maybe from the Nearity A20, which is sitting on my desk, which is eight foot long. Now I'm having to record this into voice memos because for some reason I can't get it hooked up to GarageBand, but that's okay. I'll try and figure that out for an up and coming uh, video. So you can see that I'm not recording into my normal microphone as I'm tapping that and nothing is happening. In fact, I can move that away from my face and the audio shouldn't change. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna have a walk around my desk to see what this sounds like. Now, I'm getting up, I'm moving away. I'm probably now about 10 foot away, maybe, I'm sorry, not 10 foot. I'm probably about three foot away. You know what, men always lie about sizes of things, right? But anyway, I'm about three, four foot away from the A20. Now I'm walking around my desk, walking around a bit further. And as you can see, or as you can hear the sound, I'm not entirely sure what it sounds like, but I've walked all the way around my desk and let's see how that sounds but these microphones apparently are pretty good and should pick 
pretty much everything up. So, I'm gonna carry on recording this on the Nearity just to see what it sounds like. Again, I'm recording into voice memo, so I don't really know how good that's gonna be. Now, I did say there was an ethernet cable, right, in the box. So, finally, the great thing about these A20s is you can daisy chain more than one of these together. So, as if by magic, hold tight. I have another one, and I've actually connected one end of the ethernet cable in here. And yeah, I've got another one here um, with this very long, crikey, very long ethernet cable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the audio recording for a second. Now guys, I've got two of these. I'm actually recording to both of these Nearity A20s simultaneously. They've both got blue lights on. Um, they're both connected to each other and I've now got a pair. So these are microphones recording simultaneously and they're also speakers. And you can kind of, you can kind of control. Look, I'm muting this. I'm muting it now. We saw that, it was red, it was muted. Um, and one is controlling the other. So that's pretty neat. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to leave that one there I'm going to take this one and move it to the end of my rather long desk. And now I'm going to walk around the desk again and let's see how this works out to see if the sound quality is any better by having two of them connected. I'm pretty certain that the speaker and the audio playback from conference calls is going to be better. But yeah, let's just see how the microphones are working. So guys, there you have it. Um, you know, it's very easy. Just get the ethernet cable, plug in the color coded ends. So you've got a pair. And just to note the colors or rather the ends are color coded as they denote previous and next for the devices in the chain. And also guys, I thought, how the heck do I fit the ethernet connector into the socket as well as the power connector? Um, Cause really there's no room in there, but actually, the only device, you only need to power one device up with the mains connector. So you can just plug it into the last one in the chain where you don't really um, have any more ethernet cables. So everything fits, only one power block needed. And like I said, guys, whatever adjustments I make on one device, it, they're made on all devices, whether I mute and the volume up or whatever, everything happens on all the devices all at the same time. And that is pretty neat. Now, I'm gonna switch back over to the other microphone just for the remainder of this video. So, now for a few specs, guys. This A20 has eight 360 degree microphones, which make up for the beam forming mic array. It also has auto mic leveling to ensure that audio is clear at all times. It has background noise suppression as well, and it's full duplex, which just means that you can kind of talk and listen at the same time. And it has AI noise suppression. So while it's handling the room noise, it's also optimizing for human voice, which is pretty neat. Plus guys, there's a ton of techie stuff here in terms of specs, but if you really wanna know all of that stuff, then just leave me a comment. So guys, that's just about it for this one. If you want a single conference mic setup for home and office, then one of these is gonna be just fine. This is so well built. I mean, it, it feels like metal to be honest, but I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to um, examine it in a bit more detail. Um, but also if you want a single setup or you have an office or a meeting room or larger area, then you know these are ideal. You can daisy chain multiples of these and you are good to go. These work and sound great. And for me, the $64 million question is, will I replace my Jabra 510 Plus? That is my go-to and has been for the last three years. Well, I'm gonna say, that the speaker in the A20 sounds better than the Jabra. The A20 looks better than the Jabra. 
So maybe it's just the pain of having another power brick plugged in. But wait a minute. It wasn't clear to begin with. But actually, if you're using the A20 as a single speaker microphone, you don't need the power brick. Well, certainly not on a Mac anyway. What I found is the USB connection works just fine. There's enough juice to power this up. It would appear that you only need the power brick if you are daisy chaining more than one device together. So, amen to that. So the answer to that $64 million question is, absolutely this is gonna replace my Jabra. Guys, if you're in the market for a conference speaker microphone, then this is definitely worth your consideration. This is a quality piece of kit, and it's gonna look great on any desk, in any office, or in any conference room. Guys, I will leave links in the description for where you can get one of these, the price and any discount codes. And if you have any questions, comments, or would like to see any other features explained in another video, please let me know in the comments. Guys, thanks to you for watching. Thanks to Nearity for sending me this very cool A20 conference speaker mic. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It does make a difference. And please subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos. Guys, I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens, and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.